Hey Deckers, Nightingale is out officially, but it's still early access and it is running on the Steam Deck. Well, just about. They are looking at doing further optimizations, but this is playable as far as I'm concerned, although it will dip into the low 20s occasionally. For the most part, it will stick around the 30 FPS mark. Now for the settings I'm running here, and great news for spider haters, there is an arachnophobia mode, but I have everything set to performance except for anti-aliasing on quality and the performance boost to temporal super resolution on the balance mode. Now you can run this under Intel XESS balance and it does look a little bit better, but there is around a five FPS performance hit and that's just a little bit too much at this stage. So keep it at TSR balanced with that anti-aliasing quality and you will have a pretty good time on the deck. Overall, this game is absolutely gorgeous and I really hope that they do get that optimization because even when you're in the forest biome, and I did find that this one was one of the most challenging, which is why I chose it for the footage. When you're in the desert, you do get a few extra frames per second, as well as some of the other areas, especially when you go inside as well. It's absolutely fantastic. But when you've got lots going on outside, then it does struggle a little bit. The combat does take a bit of getting used to and this whole survival genre is a little bit tricky to get to know under each type of game and this is no exception. There is so much to this game, you will lose an hour or two just having a mess around, but it is well worth it. I'm quite enjoying this one over things like Entrouded or Rust, especially as it is very well geared for single player. The only downside is it is always online at the moment, so even if you are playing on your own, you do need an internet connection. So hopefully they give an offline mode in future, but that is the way it is for now. Also great news for those with decent internet connections. And if you are looking to subscribe to GeForce Now, I'll leave the link in the description below, but this was also added to GeForce Now today. So this is some footage from the GeForce Now Ultimate tier, which means I can run this at the full ultra settings and also add in the performance boost for NVIDIA's DLSS under the DLAA option and you can even turn it on frame generation as well. Now you can run this looking absolutely gorgeous and this is where some of those extra graphics really come into play because Nightingale is a beautiful game and you can see just how much better looking this is if we run it under GeForce Now. Of course you will need to pay that subscription for GeForce Now as well as owning the game and you will have to have a very good internet connection, but you can see just how different the game looks. Still running on the Steam Deck, obviously getting that downscaled to 800p resolution, but getting the benefit of an NVIDIA RTX 4080 in the cloud here. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna be diving into Nightingale or you're gonna wait for that offline mode and whether you're gonna be playing locally on the deck or via GeForce Now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.